because in my early days I played a lot of house concerts and I would come home with like an envelope full of cash and I found that if you played to 30 people in a bar you got paid with beer tickets and if you played to 30 people in a living room you might make like 600 bucks and the difference was so incredible that when Laura and I met and we realized that we both had this shared passion for you know, house concerts and uh, basically concerts in any kind of alternative space. There was a lot of fireworks, you know, and we both realized that we could do something together because we both had a, a, a shared passion for this particularly particular area of the industry. Yeah, what I've learned uh, with Side Door over and over again is that building a platform that serves artists is very similar to building a fan base as an artist. There's so many parallels between my own career and the things that we're experiencing trying to lift Side Door off the ground. And so much of it comes down to like that core thing of like, are you creating a value and existential respite for, for people, for, in, in, you know, for your listeners or for your users or whatever? Are you bringing something that is essential to them? Um, and so that's all we're trying to do all the time, yeah. Both Dan and I come from opposite sides of the coin. So Dan is the artist, I'm myself on the industry and hosting side. And we both just saw these kinds of DIY shows as the greatest ROI for artists, the most sustainable way to tour. Um, and we wanted to make it easy for anybody to do that. So that's where the tech platform actually got its start, was to just make it possible for anyone in the world to do that. And that's what we're trying to go for. We have a philosophy that if your footprint cannot be wide, let it be deep. You know, if you can't sell a thousand tickets, have the most unforgettable evening with 30, 40 people. And at the end of it, they feel like they know you. They, feel, they have a sense of you. They want you to succeed. You've left a footprint in that market. And so when you come back, maybe that 40 people can be 80 people or whatever, you know. We're going for world domination democratizing and giving absolute control to artists to tour wherever they want, whenever they want, and give them a way to make a sustainable living. That's where we want to be.